Welcome to morning Tai Chi full body stretch. So we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can, hands by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms begin to float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart. And then as you breathe out, hands float down, sinking the chi, the life force energy, source of our power and strength. Arms float up as you breathe in, and then the arms float down as you breathe out. One more time, sink the chi. And then from here, you can step one foot out to the side, either foot, the arms float up in front, then the arms get heavy, floating down, the knees and hips soften as we open the door, start of the journey. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Just adding in some gentle movement, warming up the body and mind. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. Then the arms float down, the palms face up. The hands float up the midline of the body, pressing up overhead. And then the arms float out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in as you rise up. Breathing out, floating down, it's like a good morning stretch. One more time, opening the shoulders and the chest, decompressing the spine. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. And we'll switch sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. Then this time, if you want, you can do a side bend easing in, never forcing it. One more time to the other side, connecting above and below. This time the bottom hand comes up, then you can push to the corner, the other hand pushes behind. And then we'll switch sides, going to the other corner, the dragon spreads its wings. This time if you want, you can turn a little bit more, pivoting on the feet, a little more of a stretch. And then one more time to the other side. Gentle rotation. And then from here, we'll hug the tree, bring it back to center, rounding out and soften. And then you can step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the fingers dip down towards the earth, softening the hips and knees. And the hands float all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body digging in the garden, coming down low, stretching the legs, reaching up overhead, stretching the arms. All right, let's do one more. Digging in the garden, planting the seeds. And then from here, we'll reverse direction. The hands come all the way up and over, floating down, and then circling back up as we harvest from the garden. Enjoying the fruits of our labor. Big circle, one more time. At right, this time you can round out the arms, hug the tree, and then you can step the foot in a little bit closer. And from here, the hands draw in towards the heart. Then we'll step out to the corner. And as you step out, pushing forwards in space. And it's usually easier to follow along me being your mirror image. Push. One more time, this one's called pushing the mountain. Right, and then from here, the wrists cross down low. Then the arms rise up, and then they open, circling out and around, big open, and then back down low. The princess in the valley. Once again, opening the shoulders and chest, sending energy to the heart and lungs. One more time. Breathing in, open. Breathing out, or take as many breaths as you need. And then step the front foot back in, the hands come back towards the heart, shift the weight, we'll go to the other corner as you push the mountain. Breathing in, nice and easy. Breathing out as we learn to connect with nature moving with effortless ease. All right, this time the wrists cross down low. As you come forward, 
Then the arms rise up and then open, circling out and around, and then back down low. The princess in the valley. Breathe in as you open, breathing out. You can cross either wrist. Either one's on top, so okay. All right, now this time, step the front foot back in, hug the big tree, rounding out, and then soften. And then from here, the arms open, this hand here scoops under, and then step in as you catch the moon. The top hand goes away, we'll step out to the corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon right off into the sky. Circle it back around, toss away. All right, this time the other hand comes back on top, catch the moon, the bottom hand tosses away, the other hand stays behind, parting the wild horse's mane. Circle it around, and as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. All right, one more time. All right, now this time, stay with me. The bottom hand comes up to block out the sun. The other hand, Pushes through. Circle it back around, catch the moon. And the bottom hand comes up as we spin the moon and then push on through. The fair lady works at shuttles. Let's do that once more. The fair lady for short. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree. <sighs> Breathing and then open. This hand scoops under. Step in as you catch the moon. Top hand goes behind the back. Step out to the other corner. Toss away. Guiding the moon back into the sky. Do that again. Just taking your time, no rush, nowhere to go. The other hand on top. The bottom hand tosses away, the other hand stays behind. Parting the wild horse's mane. Do that again. Breathing, feeling the sensations. It's more about how it feels than how it looks. All right, one more time, toss away. All right, this time we'll spin the moon. The bottom hand comes up overhead to block out the sun. The other hand pushes through. All right, circle it back around. The fair lady works at shuttles. All right, let's do one more. All right, step the front foot back in, hug the big tree right out in front. The arms open up wide, the hands float down, and then the wrists cross down low, rising up. They drift out to the side. We'll do that again, closing the door. One more time. This time you can stay up nice and tall. The hands float down by the sides. And then step the feet close together, as close as you can. Then the hands can come together in front of the heart. We can finish with a bow.